Well, guys, we did it. We've graduated high school. Can you believe it? Wow, what a crazy ride it has been. We made relationships and had hardships. We felt accepted and we felt left out. We fell in love. We fell out of love. We laughed and we cried. And we faced a pandemic and got Google on our side. Well, at least, I did. And who knew our beds would ever be our classroom? I'm sure I am not the only one here who went to class in her pajamas. I am thankful for PISD. I am thankful to be here. I am thankful to be chosen to speak to you today. I have a simple message to share with you today. I am here to tell you that your story matters. Yes. Yours. Your story. It matters. To our teachers out there, your story matters. Your teaching not only informs us but also influences us. You teach from what you know, and, from who you are. You inspire us. Teachers, your story matters. All you parents out there, your story matters. As your kids grow and leave the nest, remember that you are not just a parent, you are your own person. Your story matters. Students, your story matters. You have only lived about 18 years on this earth, with many more years to come. I would like to share two pieces of advice I have heard my whole life from my family and counselors. I think this advice is important because I think it will help shape your story and your story matters. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Tess. Tess Gergerick. You might have noticed that I have a physical disability. It is called cerebral palsy, which means that my muscles don't respond well making it difficult for me to control my body. Because of this, I have to ride in this wheelchair. I'm also not able to talk with my mouth, so I use a communication application on my iPad to speak. I operate my iPad with the head switch on the right side of my head. I might look different on the outside, but on the inside, I am just like you. Well, not exactly like you, human clones aren't legal yet. My two pieces of advice are these, 1. Let your life unfold by embracing all that comes your way, and 2. Trust that everything is happening to you in the right order. Just to make sure you heard me, I will say them again. 1. Let your life unfold by embracing all that comes your way, and 2. Trust that everything is happening to you in the right order. My first piece of advice is, to let your life unfold. This means allowing things to happen by embracing things that come your way. We often want to have control of our lives and most often think we can control our lives. But, much of the time, things happen to us that are out of our control. I have learned that letting my life unfold means saying yes to opportunities that come my way. When I was in the band, I was in percussion. I also composed music. My band teacher asked me if I would like to audition one of my pieces for the Spring Percussion Concert. Guess what I said? I said yes. Then he proceeded to tell me all I had to do to make that happen. It was a challenging task for me. I had to find five people to play my piece. I had to make decisions about the performance and I had to coordinate rehearsals. It was tons of work for me. It would have been easier to say no. But I said yes. And I am glad I did. Because being part of that first concert inspired me to keep composing. It also inspired my mission in life. I now have a mission in life to make the world a kinder place by writing and composing songs to teach people about acceptance. Letting my life unfold and saying yes to this opportunity led me to my mission. Letting our lives unfold and saying yes to opportunities will shape our stories. And our stories matter. My second piece of advice is to trust that everything is happening to you in the right order. Have you ever been in a positive situation after experiencing a negative situation and thought, wow, if that negative and challenging thing didn't happen to me, 
I never would have had this positive, amazing thing happen. We have been told to take the good with the bad, and it is often the bad that shapes the good. Really, it's how we handle ourselves in bad, tough situations that often lead to good situations and especially help us in future situations. That is why I trust that all situations are happening in the right order. The order of these situations shape our stories. And our stories matter. So, class of 2022, parents, family members, teachers, or whoever is actually listening to me, life is full of struggles and full of joy. Students, whether you are going to college or a trade school next year, joining the military, starting a business, or whether you have absolutely no clue what you are doing next year, remember these two things. Let your life unfold by embracing what comes your way and saying yes to new opportunities, even if they are scary or challenging. And, trust that everything is happening to you in the right order, because in the great scheme of things, in this great, big, complicated world, as you live your life, you will impact other people, shape situations and influence our world. So, believe me when I say, your story matters. Thank you.